The surgery that we just did is a robotic, completely intracorporeal, which means within the abdomen, completely intracorporeal, uh, inferior vena cava thrombectomy, level two slash three, plus a radical nephrectomy, ipsilateral radical nephrectomy, plus the retroperitoneal lymph node dissection of that area. And the key steps here are, number one, before surgery, preoperatively, to really be able to image precisely with CAT scan and MRI, the extent of the kidney tumor, the extent of the vena cava thrombus, etc. We need to know that down to the millimeter so that we can plan our surgery accordingly. Uh, after that, in the operating room, the key steps are uh, excellent anesthesia with central line monitoring and transesophageal echocardiogram, etc., to uh, monitor the thrombus status during surgery. And then from our aspect, it would be to go in and control the vena cava. So we have to control the vena cava below the thrombus, which means below the kidneys, which means infrarenally, then control the opposite kidney vein, so in this case the left renal vein, control the posterior lumbar blood vessels that go into the vena cava uh, uh, from the spine, and then control above the thrombus. So that is suprarenal. And in this particular case, it was actually intra or retrohepatic because the thrombus was going higher and we controlled the hepatic veins and then we were able to control cephalad. So ba basically we have to completely exclude the vena cava segment that contains the thrombus, cinch everything down and then open the vena cava, remove the thrombus and repair the vena cava. This operation took about, um, I don't know, three and a half hours? Three, three and a half hours? Blood loss in this case was about 150 cc's only, which is excellent. And uh, let's see how the patient does. But uh, chances are the patient could go home in a, in a couple of days. So typically for level three vena cava thrombi, uh, it is an open surgical procedure. It is not done robotically by any team. So our team is the first in the world to develop this technique and we have now done level three robotic vena cava thrombectomies in six patients. And uh, um, this would be the seventh patient. So, you know, uh, we're just taking it step by step by step. First, we started with level one many, many years ago. Then we went on to level two vena cava thrombi, and now we're doing level three. Uh, so this is a stepwise, careful progression. Of course, first we started off in the laboratory doing animal work. So it is a careful stepwise progression. I, I think the main uh, point here is that major cancer surgery within the abdomen, till, which till now was basically the purview of open surgery, is now actually entering the realm of robotic surgery. So. Yes, it increases the applicability of robotic surgery in more locally advanced kidney cancers, but I think equally the message is that this actually extends robotic cancer surgery in urology in general. If you can do this kind of sophisticated, uh, uh, high intensity, high risk surgeries, um, robotically, then of course you can extend some of these techniques to other treatments as well. In this particular patient, uh, there is potentially the added advantage because this gentleman has a metastasis in the spine. So he is now going to be getting a second major operation. And given that we've done it robotically with six little cuts, okay, without cutting any muscle, uh, he's hoping that his recovery is quicker and he would be able to get on to the next surgery for the spine, hopefully sooner, which once done will then allow him to get on to chemotherapy sooner, so that's the point.